Hello there everyone, it's me, the great and powerless Peter, and I've been asked by Back to Hours to do a little bedtime story for Right on Your Sofa, and today we're going to be reading Poco and the Drum, illustrated and written by Matthew Forsyth. Are you ready? Then let's begin. The biggest mistake Poco's parents ever made was giving her a drum. They had made mistakes before, like the slingshot. And the llama. And the balloon. But the drum was the biggest mistake. We shouldn't have given her that drum, said her father. What? said her mother. The drum is too loud. I can't hear you. The drum was a big mistake, said her father. That sounds like a wonderful idea, said her mother, who still couldn't hear what he was saying. The next day, her father said, Poco, why don't you take your drum outside for a while? But don't make too much noise. We are just a little frog family that lives in a mushroom, and we don't like drawing attention to ourselves. Poco agreed, and she set out as quietly as she could. It had just rained and the forest was sparkling like an emerald. And it was very quiet. Too quiet. Poco started tapping on her drum just to keep herself company. But something stirred behind her. A raccoon playing a banjo started following her so Poco hit her drum louder. And then a rabbit playing a trumpet started following them, but Poco kept playing her drum. And then a wolf, who couldn't really play anything, but was very happy to be near the music, joined in, and Poco still played her drum. But then the wolf ate the rabbit. And Poco stopped playing her drum and faced the wolf and said, No more eating band members or you're out of the band. I'm sorry, said the wolf, and he meant it. And then they all started playing again. And soon there was a crowd of animals playing instruments and a crowd of animals following them around, enjoying the music. And they were all following Poco. Poco, your dinner is ready, shouted her father. No one answered, but he could hear music in the distance. And the music grew louder and louder. until a crowd swept through the house and carried Poco's parents off into the woods. Oh no, said her father. Oh dear, said her mother. I think that's Poco down in front, said her father. And you know what? What, said her mother, who was just getting to the best part of her book. I think she's pretty good. And no one could hear what he was saying. But if they could, they would have all agreed.
wasn't that good, everyone. That was Poco and the Drum, written and illustrated by Matthew Forsyth. Oh, it was a fantastic bedtime story brought to you here by Back to Ours, right on your sofa. Yes, and I've been the great and powerless Peter. <gasps> Don't forget, we're all galloping our way to Pearson Park on the 25th of August. Yes, we are. We'll see you all then, everyone. Ta-ta! Tatty Bananas, Alf Vida Zen, great guy, Alf, love him. Arrivederci, brilliant fellow, Carrie Flake.